Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. For the arm, what I'd like to do is um, I pick this vertex or, or this face here at the top segment below the neck, and then I extrude this one, press E to extrude. this down and the shoulders always a bit um, odd to make uh, but basically what I want to do is you don't want to keep extruding from here you don't want to be doing this because uh, you need some extra uh, detail for the shoulder here so I press ctrl z to cancel that extrude what you want to do is you want to extrude this one to be your arm and it looks really strange when I do it like this but I'll show you what I need to do. I need to move this edge up and this edge I need to move in. And it's really handy to, when I move the objects here, I don't usually press G to, to move it. I usually click on the axis and slide it along here instead. If you're missing the axis, you might have disabled it by clicking on this one. So make sure that one's enabled. Uh, so when you get a shape here that um, that works, then you can extrude this one to become your arm and let's make the arms a little bit more narrow. I usually keep switching this on and off all the time the, to see through because I don't like usually to work with it. Uh, it's easy to accidentally pick a vertex in the back, so I often disable it. But then when I need to do modifications to the whole body, and that's when I uh, enable and disable it all the time. Scale. So looking at my previous character, he's a bit bulky at the top uh, for some muscles. So let's do the same here, G to move it. I guess the enemies should be a bit strong as well with them being soldiers. Fix the face a little bit. No. Draw in and down, make the face a bit longer. Scale the whole body so it makes it a bit thicker. Scale around it or along the y axis. I'm going to have this guy wear, um, I think I'm going to be making him wear a chainmail and a helmet and some sort of a yeah. Okay, and let's extrude the legs. So the legs I do for this game, I do the legs a bit shorter than I normally do. And the upper body a bit longer to make it a bit cartoony. So here's how I make the legs. I extrude a section down. And then to get the groin area, I slide this one down and then this one in. And then I actually make the leg from this face there. So on one on the dashboard to see the front view and then E to extrude. And then I click here and then I press R to rotate. And since I'm in the front view, it rotates perfectly around the Z uh, or the Y axis. And then G to grab. 
and the legs I, I'll make straight down because I'm going to be rigging this character for walking and stuff like that. So sometimes I rig them in a relaxed pose, in an A pose, but I noticed lately that I prefer uh, with the legs a little bit more straight down. It's easier to make uh, the armature then. Okay, and then we have the knee. And let's make the foot there. Oh, a bit wide. <laughs> make sure I select the back faces. B for box select, or let's switch the vertex. A to deselect everything, B to box select, and then S to scale, and then Y to scale around the, along the y-axis. Shift to select multiple vertices, then slide along the y-axis. And then let's make a foot. So select that face, press E to extrude. There's I don't really model the feet uh, with joints. Sometimes uh, when you want to rig a detailed characters, you'd probably want to split the foot into multiple bones and deform those. Uh, but I'm making such a simple platforming game that uh, I'm going to be perfectly, as you can see here, in this size. You won't, won't really see the feet if they deform. So it works. Uh, you don't need to waste unnecessary time uh, modeling a more detailed feet than, uh, than that. So let's make them a little bit more narrow. Let's extrude and finish the arms here. Uh, one for the front view. G to grab and move. E to extrude again. Let's see how this character has got arms to out there. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.